When we estimate angles, we want to use things that we call benchmarks. Benchmarks are um, angles that are certain degrees that are very easy for us to, to see and associate with. And the first benchmark that we like to look at is 90 degrees. Okay, so let's imagine I have an angle here that's 90 degrees. Okay, we know 90 degree angles look like corners. Okay, and what we can do is we can use this 90 degrees to help us figure out other angles. For example, what if instead of having an angle that was exactly 90 degrees, instead of there, what if my ray was here? Okay, that's very close to 90 degrees, so I might make an estimate of like, you know, 85 degrees or even 80 degrees. Or we might have an angle that's very small, like this. Okay, that angle is very close to zero, so I might consider that to be like 10 degrees. Okay, there are other things we can use for 90. Let's think about this. What if I had a ray that was right here? And so the angle that I'm looking at is right here, this section right here. Okay, if I know that this green angle that I have on the outside is 90 degrees, and I'm looking at just this section, I may think, you know, okay, that's about half. So if I were going to make an estimate, I might estimate that this, oops, sorry about that, I might estimate that this section here is about 45 degrees. Okay, 45 and 45. Okay, so this little angle here I might say is 45 degrees. And again, what we're doing is we're estimating. It's not going to be perfect, but it's a way for us to be kind of close. One other benchmark that we use with 90 degrees is we might have angles like this. Okay, what if I divided it like that? Okay, that's dividing this 90 degrees into thirds. So again, we might have 30 degrees. Or if I had an angle that was about as big as two of these, we might say that was 60 degrees. Okay, so we can use all those benchmarks. And we can combine those benchmarks together. For example, let's say I had an angle. Let me draw an angle up here. If I had an angle that looked like this, So here's what I'm going to think if I have an angle that looks like this. I'm going to look at my benchmarks. And my benchmark is 90 degrees. So I know 90 degrees is right there. So I'm also going to be thinking about, okay, well, how big does this angle look over here? If I'm thinking about that side of my angle, I might be thinking, okay, well, these look like about half of 90 degrees. So this is like 45. And I know that this was 90. And so together, these two amounts would mean that this angle could be 135 degrees. So we can combine our angles and our es estimates together when we have some obtuse angles. All right, so let's practice this a little bit now. If I were going to estimate this angle, the first thing I want to think about are my benchmarks. Okay, so what I'm going to do is in my mind, I'm going to imagine what this would look like, let me change the color, if this was a 90 degree angle, okay? So now that that looks like a 90 degree angle, if I'm thinking of just this section, in my mind I'm going, okay, well this is about halfway. Okay, it looks like it's almost in the middle. So I think I'm going to estimate that this angle is 45 degrees. Okay, so what I'm going to do is down here next to my word estimate, I'm going to estimate that this is 45 degrees. Now whenever you make an estimate, you always want to double check it. So let's put our protractor here. And when I put my protractor on, I can see that this is actually, it's a little more than 45 degrees. It comes all the way up to here, which is 50 degrees. So that was actually a pretty good estimate, 50 degrees. Okay, what about this one? Again, let's start with what we know. So I'm going to put in a line right here. That's where 90 degrees would be. I can tell that's much more than half, okay? This is what 90 degrees would look like on this side. So if I had half, it would be more like up here, okay? But it's not. Oops, actually, I think it would be more like here if it were half. This line that I accidentally drew in right here, oops, where'd it go? This one shows me that this is kind of divided into thirds. So if this is thirds, I would say this is about 30 degrees. This is about 30, oops, sorry, my pen got connected. So this is about 30 degrees. This is about 30 degrees, and this would be about 30 degrees. So if I were going to estimate this, 
I know this is 90 here. So it's going to be 90 plus 30 plus 30, which would give me 90 plus 60, which means I would estimate that this is about 150 degrees. So what I want to do now is I'm going to measure this. I need to get rid of all the benchmark lines that I drew in. Okay, so I'll get rid of this, get rid of this, oops, hang on, there it is. And let me get rid of all those measurements I've drawn in. And now let's use our protractor to try to measure this. If I do that and I look at it, I see 150 degrees is here. So again, we had a pretty good estimate. Our actual measurement for this one is 160 degrees. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to use measurements or use benchmarks to help us make estimates of these angles.